my brother uh, Jamshid was my role model. He was outstanding from the very beginning. And we were then very fortunate to go to what was uh, perhaps the best school in India then, uh, the Doon School, yeah, Dera Doon, yeah. And he became school captain, which was a great honor. I remember it very well, his first appointment and all the flurry in the family and, and particularly since his first appointment he chose to go to Africa, West Africa, to Ghana. It was a part of the world one knew so little about. He was our ambassador at the time of the East Pakistan crisis. When he left, and you know Pakistan was in, was being condemned worldwide, particularly by the Russians. I'm told that about 40 or 50 ambassadors came to see him off. And despite their diplomatic difficulties, the Russians made him an on, uh, compliment, making him an honorary citizen of Moscow. He spoke fluent Russian, he spoke fluent French, English, German, Urdu, Gujarati. And then not many diplomats who have that range. Ziyal considered him his favorite ambassador. This was because when we were doing our nuclear program, he had two contributions. One was um, when he was in Europe, it was extremely important for us not to get caught in a sting operation. This was first done in Germany, and then when he moved as ambassador to France, A.Q. Khan insisted that he still be in, entrusted with this responsibility. And of course, uh, constantly keeping the Americans off uh, of Zia's back, and Zia was very, very grateful for that. At that time, the UN presence will definitely be there. Uh, and uh, we exactly what shape or form that will take has to be worked out. Um, I consider it fairly important that I should go to East Timor as the representative for East Timor, uh, but I do not want to do that if it does any harm to the main process. And I remember him telling me at once that, you know, there are times in history when windows open up, you know, people change, uh, politics change. In East Timor, you had leadership that was actually in a position to take the country forward and negotiate a settlement. So you had the three important players in place that were willing to talk about uh, you know, a plan uh, for peace. And uh, he had the diplomatic skills to put it through.
he said, I never served them, I served Pakistan. It was not a question of who he served, it was a question of serving Pakistan. And whoever was in charge in Pakistan, his legacy is, you know, one that one, as I started out, one that one admires, aspires to, and hopes one can continue. That same sense of duty, selflessness, uh, the importance of um, serving your country above all, no matter what.